Hey, what's up, people? This is Sifurian. Right now, we're going to be jumping straight into series two of The Boys. I say straight in because episode eight of series one went up last week on YouTube. Um, but it's actually been quite a while since I've seen the show. So, kind of forgive me if I kind of slip up on some names or characters and stuff. But if I've planned this right, hopefully, uh, by the time I've done with series two, Series 3 should be dropping. They might overlap a little bit because I'm not too sure if like they're going to be dropping like all of Series 3 all in one go or if they're going to be uploading... Well, putting up like one episode each week. If they drop them all in one go, then basically Episode 1 of Series 3 will go up on YouTube the week after Episode 8 of Series 2. So we're just going to just go straight into it. If they put them up like one every single week... Because I don't want to be one week behind, I might just put up episode one and uh, episode eight of series two in the same like weekend or something. I, I don't know. Because like I said, I don't want to be a week behind everyone else. So we'll just see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Uh, we have to get there first. <laughs> we actually have to get there. Um, but that is the plan as I come to sit down and film this. Yeah, so I guess quick recap. Um... Oh, just from what I can actually remember, Starwell, is it? She's dead, you know. Homelander killed her. That was fucking savage. But big reveal at the end was uh, Butcher's wife. Can't remember her name. She's still alive and there's a kid involved now. Homelander is a daddy. What I think could actually be... Yeah, he. Look, this child is the first. The first naturally born soup. Because up to now, they've always been kind of manufactured with Compound V, is it? Yeah, that they're all basically just lab rats. They, they well, well, not all of them, but there's this... They're all basically man-made, you know. But they're all made to believe that it was natural and, and some of them have been chosen by God and, and all this other shit and absolutely manic. But going into this season now, I think there's going to be a hell of a lot more soups, of course, with the reveal that, that there are soup terrorists. So I'm really intrigued to see where this is going to go, how this is all going to play out. Um, I guess Huey and Starlight are going to be still together because of the way things kind of went in, in the uh, finale with her coming to save him. And I've already seen like promo pictures and stuff. I know that A-Train is still alive because I've seen pictures of him. Um, so we know that he didn't die. But I wonder how that dynamic is going to be now. Look, like, Is he going to be thankful that Huey saved his life or is he just going to play it off like it don't mean jack shit but gradually as the season goes on like like he'll have like a big character arc you know the same way with uh, with the deep like he's going through like a like mental emotional kind of crisis but yeah I'm just I'm just really intrigued to see how this is going to play out I'm going into this completely blind I've not been spoiled on anything or you know um even though I'm like coming onto this really late <laughs> I've not been spoiled, thankfully. But yeah, no more talking, no more waffling on. We're going to get into this. If you are interested in watching episode two and episode three, they should be up on my Patreon right now. Links are all down below. As far as full lengths, hopefully, fingers crossed, a big chunk, if not all of this season, is going to be up right now. Links are all down below. But as this is episode one, the full length for episode one is for free. There's a link down below. Go watch it, go check it out, see how I do it and, and, and see if you like it. And if you do, you might want to watch the rest of the show with me. Um, but yeah, we're going to get into this episode one, series two. <sighs> Let's do this, man. Chain of command doesn't apply to other military contractors in the field. I don't see why it should apply to us. Caprese sandwich. Well, when they're in actual combat, whom exactly do your heroes report to? Same person as always. Me. They've got the contract now, and they. Oh shit! <laughs> That's uh, black black noir, right? Should I ask? Terrible idea. Ah, hey, Jamla, tamam. أنا بفتكر إنه. That's a suit terrorist, right? Is 
is Noir just going to be standing there like it was nothing? That's why they sent him in. Oh, you're fucked now, buddy. Wow, okay. Really? <laughs> what the fuck? For today, we mourn a fallen member of the Seven. Translucent. Murdered in cold blood wow. by the cartel super terrorist El Diablo. Wow. Before he left, Translucent said to me, Hey, Homelander, tell my son Maverick that I love him. And he also said, you find those super terrorists. You find them, Homelander, and you stop them. So I say to you, Maverick, and to all the sons and daughters of this great nation, I will stop them. He's so good, and I... I will save you. I'll do it for you. For America. For a dear, dear old friend. Goodbye, brother. Thank you. It's just a fucking empty box, isn't it? <laughs> That's so fucked. Of the clothes. That's so funny. <laughs> and that's fucked that, he, that he's not there. He's having to watch it on TV. <laughs> oh. I mean, like, I get it. The funeral of, of one of the seven. How's everyone holding up in the tower? Well, I'm not gonna lie. Uh... Hard, yeah, but this one, he's just really been a rock. He sat us down and he said, we're more than just a team, we're a family. Starlight, thank you for saying that. Oh, thank you. Really, I don't know where we would be without you. <laughs> Isn't she the best? <laughs> Isn't she the best? <laughs> you both have... Is she just keeping up the facade, just playing along? Cause I can't see her turning her back on him now and just say, fuck it, I'm I'm with the seven. Like, nah, it's all just for the cameras, isn't it? Okay. Cause he's the only one that knew that she's working well, she, she's with Huey and everyone, you know what I mean? I was thinking, like, does anyone know and stuff? But uh, she, I, I guess she really is just keeping up the act now, you know? But then what's going to happen when he does wake up? Aww. <laughs> It looks like there's quite a few new people who's joined them. I got a feeling they're all going to be red shirts, so to be honest. <laughs> Ow. Fun page. The, the burner phone, did you snap the SIM card? Just last. When was the last time you slapped, down, dude? Head down. Sorry, I just. We're okay. You look good. Yeah, you um, you look good too. You look very. Yeah, he looks like shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm lying. I'm sorry. You look like shit. I know. Yep. <laughs> oh, um, here it is. 
Oh, shit. I know him. You do? Not for a while, but yes, for my Capes for Christ days. I saw a really great picture of you at the Teen Choice Awards with, um, what's his name, Ansel Adams? Alden Aaron Reich. Are you stalking me on Instagram? No. No, of course not. Get over yourself. So did the PR people put you together? What, what's... No, he's a nice guy. He's an actor. He's an actor who didn't lie to my face every day. It was going so well. <laughs> and he was so subtle with the knee and everything, like... Hey, get some sleep. Sleep when I know you're safe. Mr. Smooth with a slick line <laughs> as he walks out. I think water's supposed to be fun. Try swimming in the Mariana Trench, you little fucking idiots. <laughs> wow. It's dark and it's cold and you're so alone. You're so goddamn fucking alone. Shit, man. Swim free, little fish. Mid bail. What the fuck was that? Wanna fresca? Thanks. You built me out. Yeah. Because even heroes need a hand once in a while. Come on. Guys, are you gonna help him get on the straight and narrow? Please! My baby needs a mother! Boy. Shut your trap, you dumb bird. Or else, a bollocks you. But that's exactly what William Butcher did. Wow. Where will you go, PTV? Could you stay here? We're Frenchie's gangbanger friends, the Cots. They got 31 flavors of semen on them. You'll love them. Oh, and you have a better idea? No, maybe we can stay, all of us, in your mother asshole. Or maybe we could not run. Well, we shouldn't just give up. Guys, we get some Compound V, we, we bring it to the New York Times, we burn Vought to the ground. You got some V, Huey? Cause I don't. We could get some, someone could help us get it. And who might that be? Is he doing something behind their backs with um, Starlight? Starlight? We don't need Butcher. Okay, who's gonna be our captain? Hugh? I mean, guys, just, just, just hear me out. Shut the fuck up! This is over. Mm. I think he's got something on on the side with um, Starlight, right? Because what was the deal with that paperwork and everything? Is he gonna drink it? Well, he's gonna heat it up first with his eyes, right? Knowing his character. Because <laughs> of their weird mother and son kind of bond thing, like. He couldn't have just drank it, he had to do it in a creepy, like. His tongue in the bottle, like what the fuck, man? <laughs> Homender, I just want to thank you again for recommending me for this job. Ah, oh, so she got promoted and shit, okay. I think I found a hero, perfect candidate to replace Translucent. You want to meet him? Do I? <laughs> Lead the way. Okay, so newest member of the seven then, yeah? Blind spot, right? A differently abled member of the seven. He's blind. So a daredevil fucker. <laughs> Amazing. And then I think we find an ethnic or female, or fingers crossed, an ethnic female to replace the deep, and we're golden. Hey guys, um, I just have one question, if that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, uh, what happens if I don't know? I do this. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! 
What made you think I would ever allow a cripple into the seven? For fuck's sakes, Ashley, don't look at him, look at me. Ashley! Look at me. You are dispensable, which means you answer to me. Okay, okay. From now on, I will set my own agenda. I'll approve my own marketing and I'll write my own talking points. You will tell me everything that goes on on the 99th floor, and I mean everything. Every call, email, group chat, if a fucking light bulb goes out, you will tell me. And Ashley, in no fucking way do you decide who goes in the seven. I decide. Do we have an understanding? Yes. I was thinking that, you know, when they were talking about the promotion, I was like, it's only because he can manipulate us. But that was fucked up, man. It kind of goes back to something that I've always said about Daredevil. Like, you take out his, his fucking hearing, he's nothing. Yeah. <laughs> he would be fucked. I'm getting, like, escort vibes, like... Oh, it is. Don't want to get stuck with the cleaning bill. Yeah, look, there's something a bit seedy going on here. So what's your poison? You're the leg guy? Uh, an arm, please, actually. Oh. 400. What? Um, do you want me to, uh, saw or, or chop or... Whatever floats your boat, Tiger. Is he just gonna... <sighs> He's not even like... He can't even feel it, right? <laughs> Holy shit! Oh shit, thank you! That was a... I, I, I'd give the arm, right? I just keep it refrigerated. That's crazy. For an extra grand, I'll let you chop off my dick. Where's the closest ATM? Wow, okay. Oh, fuck. He's gonna end up losing the arm, man. And I don't think he can grow it fucking back. Okay? So. Louis. What? Frenchie, what did he say? The only word I understood was soup. <laughs> I was terrible at French in school. I really was. I can barely speak English fucking sometimes, let alone another language. <laughs> okay, why does she... Cop seen this? No one's seen it. I ain't trying to get life without parole. Could it be a brother? Maybe she recognizes a thing because her brother used to be like. Ah, oh, soup. They got paid to smuggle in a soup terrorist. <sighs> Looked like it was a uh, telekinesis, was it or something? Fuck, man. Okay. But I think maybe her brother was on the ship. Maybe he's trying to find her. Oh. Thanks for letting me crash. Sorry. Got the bathroom, I'll clean it up. It's not too creepy though, is it? Waking up and someone just sat there watch, like, watching you sleep. Oh shit, you scared me. Well, that's just Carol. <laughs> what the fuck? I've been looking forward to meeting you, Deep. Would you like a fresco? Thank you. What? Anyway, no need to apologize. We've all been there. It's tough. Been where? Rock bottom. I don't think I'm at rock bottom. For me, my aha moment came with the hostage situation at Kroger. Multiple shooters. I showed up. 
I'm letting arrows fly. My aim is perfect. But there's only so many arrows a quiver can hold. And then we lost a lot of good people that day. Then you start to question, like, fucking arrows against Tech Nines. But... But I came to see that archery... He was starting to go down there. He's like, uh... <laughs> I'm fine. This is a safe space, Dee. If you don't have any self-esteem issues, why are you constantly demeaning women? That's a good question, Dee. You know what? I don't know what the fuck this is, but it's weird as fuck, so I'm leaving. Carol really helped me, Dee. No, thank you. Help you get back into the seven. It's got a bit of a, a weird vibe, like... Yeah, it's a cult thing, isn't it? For the last time, we don't need Butcher. Then what? We should call Annie. Call Annie. You mean Starlight? Because that's who she is. Stand your ground, Huey. Come on. Bart has her phone so bugged. They're praying that you do that. Oh, no. You fucking called her. No, no, I'm not. I'm not stupid, okay? I texted her. <laughs> Don't you, are you fucking crazy? Yeah, man. Are you fucking crazy? crazy? Are you careful? What the we use fuck are you doing? We use burner phones. Kid, you don't get it. They could have been following you. They could be watching us right fucking now. If you're the fucking reason why I can't finish that Vermont country dollhouse, I will fucking end you. You've been walking around for days like you want to kick my ass. So do it already. Been like a few times now he's got, got up in his face. At some point, you gotta push back and say, fuck you, man. Get in my face one more time. <laughs> I don't care if you beat my ass, get in my face one more time. You know, John Connor or, 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 or what's her name from uh, The Hunger Games? Get this. <laughs> yeah, the point is, I could be that person that nobody thinks is awesome, but it turns out they're kind of fucking awesome. Yeah. Like I said, stand up for yourself, like. Listen, we helped the CIA lady. She could help you maybe get back to your family. Did you ever think of that? Mm hmm Like, stop being just a pushover and, you know. Yeah, the uh, Caves for Christ Bible camp. Mm -hmm. Yes, totally. That passion play we put on. You were the best Jesus. I mean, no one's going to take a nail. She's going to blackmail him because she was filming it. Kind of interesting if she does. I need you to go into the labs on 67 and steal me a sample of Compound V. I don't, I don't know what that is. See? Another lie. Wow. I know how we're made. And it is not Jesus. I can't. I mean, it's impossible. I'm a nobody there. I'm a lab rat. They cut off my limbs and they grow back. I can't get you. I you have to. Or I put this on Facebook tonight. Like I said, it's going to be interesting. Last season, it was Huey Black Maiden, and now she's doing it. Here I go, you guys. Wish me luck. Oh, okay, FYI. I, I have seen her on, like, promo posters and stuff. Holy shit. Your eyes are really fucking blue up close. <laughs> you are fun. <laughs> they just wanted me to meet you. Who? Oh, the boys on 82. I'm the new girl. What are you talking about? Oh, hi. I'm in the seven. Replacing translucent. God bless his soul. Ink's barely dry, but uh, yeah, reporting for duty. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Um, no, oh, I don't shit. think that this is, it's not true. I don't know anything about this. Who delivered the good news? Oh, uh, Mr. Edgar, the big guy. All right, back to one. Wonderful. Oh, shit. Great. We're going again, people. <laughs> well, I think this is going great. I got a feeling she's going to be a problem. <laughs> All depends on what type of way and for who. I've been trying to put this puzzle together, and there's a missing piece, and it's been driving me nuts, and I think you just handed it to me. Okay, so then what's the whole picture? The whole picture? It's bought. It's a fucking coup from the inside. Wait, what are you talking about? Uh, ma'am, your nose. 
What the fuck? Holy shit! What? Come on, get in! Go, 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 go! Must be a strip out there! Uh, uh, it's gonna explode! Percy, who do you know who can do that? No one! Oh man, it's gonna explode! Look, I have a daughter. Could it be that telekinesis guy? Like. I have so many questions. <laughs> you slipped Compound V to terrorists all over the globe to get you and your cronies into national defense, but maybe at the cost of destroying the whole company. I don't think I appreciate your tone, sir. And I don't appreciate that the FDA now knows about Compound V or that it's only a matter of time before the public finds out. While you're preening at the Golden Globes, we are busy running around like maniacs trying to clean up the mess you made. I don't have to consult you about Stormfront or anything else. Now, I believe you have a premiere of Tech Night Lives to go to. That scene though, man. Two amazing actors just back and forth. See, I wonder if he's got powers, because like, like, you have to be someone to stand up the Homelander and put him in his place. So it would be cool if he's got powers, but then at the same time, it would be cool if he doesn't. He's just a straight up badass. Like, do not fuck with him. <laughs> My God. Huey, we did it. He's getting me the compound V in like a day or two. What do you think? Um, New York Times? I mean, I was thinking... CNN or MSNBC, but... Wait, 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 wait. Just, just, just hold on a second. Come on, this is what we've been waiting for. Let's burn those fuckers down. Just take a beat. Let's figure out the best way to do this. Why? What happened? Nothing. Bot's just dangerous, that's all. I mean, you gotta be careful. I don't want you getting hurt. I'm not gonna get... If something happened, you know you can trust me. We're in this together. No, I do trust you. It's just... Tata. I just want to take our time, you know, do this right. That's all. Okay, maybe not over the phone, but... Don't lie to me. Not again. I'm not. I swear to God. Here we go again. And she knows. I was hoping for, like, maybe, like, some character growth from last season, but, like, come on, Huey. Like, I get it. Like... He doesn't want her to, to be in danger. And it's like, the less you know, you know what I mean? But still, it's like, come on, man. Is this Butcher? All right, easy does it, lads. Easy does it. You called him. I'm sorry, but you, it's not a game now. We need a real captain. French is right. This is a fucking mess, son. We got a soup terrorist. Rain has blown a canister, and we're the most wanted cunts in the country. But don't you worry. Daddy's home. <laughs> oh shit. I said it then I that they will turn up right at the end. Yep. Oh, next episode, let's go. <laughs> Oh my god, okay, 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 so like real quick to kind of go back to the whole Huey thing, it would have been nice for him to tell the truth, you know, to kind of show he, he, his character growth and how much they've come together, but if anything, this is just gonna push them further apart, you know, you know plus it's like she's doing all of this to help him and he can't even tell her the truth, it's kind of shitty, you know, um, but I get it from, from Huey's kind of standpoint. Like, he doesn't want her to kind of really get, get involved. Especially after seeing that woman's fucking head blow up. So I kind of get it. I mean, it didn't look like a sniper shot or anything. It looked like her head literally just exploded. So I don't know if it's a soup that's connected to Vault. Or, it, or if it's, like, something else. Like, a, a, another soup. Like, maybe the guy that they were looking for. But I kind of understand Huey's kind of standpoint. That, like, he doesn't want to get her in it too deep plus like they were saying like as soon as she started talking about you know vault and everything that's that's when her head went 
So it's really like the less you know, the less danger you're in, you know. So Huey could have just said that, like, look, things have happened and I don't want you to get into too much danger. Like, the less you know, the better type of thing. He, he could have just said that and, you know, and then maybe when they met up again privately, face to face, he could have elaborated a bit more, but it's a shitty situation. So I wonder how this is all going to play out now. Um, like if they're smuggling people into the country, like I do think like like maybe it was the girl's brother who was on on the ship because why did she recognise the um, origami? Is it she recognised it and she said boy, like boy as in like maybe her younger brother or something like like there's some reason why she recognised it. So it would be kind of crazy if her brother is actually the the guy who lifted the fucking boat up and everything. But I can't see that that happening. Would be kind of crazy if it was, but... So now we have a rogue soup that's running around, a soup terrorist in the country. Shit's really hitting the fan, but now Butcher's back, you know, to see the ship. Uh, Daddy's home. Um, <laughs> it did look like that they were really kind of like struggling on, on, on what to do and how to go about things. And, you know, even though like Hubie was showing like leadership kind of qualities, but then Mother's Milk kept getting in his face. Uh, what, what I get, like, he's got his own things and stuff, but like I said, man, look, like, there's 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 got to be a point where you stand up for yourself because no one's going to respect you as, as a potential leader if you don't stand up for yourself. But now Butch is back, hopefully, to kind of put them on the right track with his out-of-the-box kind of thinking. And, and now he knows that his wife is still alive. So maybe Butcher's kind of thought process might be a bit more on board of what needs to be done. You know what I mean? Instead of it just being him being self-centered, you know, thinking about just revenge. Because technically he tried to get revenge and now he found out his wife is still alive. So maybe there's this whole other... I'm sure he's going to still want revenge. But I think it's not going to be self-destructive now. I think it's going to be more focused and channeled. You know what I mean? So I'm kind of intrigued to see where this is going to go. As far as the seven, Homelander once again... Amazing, amazing character, man. I'm kind of intrigued with the dynamic of the company as well. Uh, there was talking about the guy at the top. Like, is he going to come into it? Like, if he's been experimenting with Compound V for years, like going back to World War II, who knows what's kind of been locked away and, you know, but we have this, this new member, Stormfront. Like I said, I think she might be a bit of an issue, but it kind of depends for who. And she obviously seems like a very kind of a like social media, you know, Twitch streaming kind of savvy TikTok, you know, kind of character. Um, but at the same time, like that could just be like Homelander. Like it's just a front for the cameras, you know, behind the camera. Like she could be a nasty, savage, evil, you know, twisted fucker. And, and, and Homelander might end up falling in love with her or something. You know what I mean? Or she could be genuinely like a good guy. But so far, she, I don't know, just probably just comes across as being like a very self-absorbed, like, I like to be centre of attention, you know, kind of thing. It'd be kind of interesting to see what she's like when there's no cameras around. A-Train is unconscious. I think it's the only reason why um, Starlight has been able to save face and, and still be a part of the Seven and everything. If Huey and everyone are kind of like the most wanted, then she would have to be one of them if the truth came out that she was helping him. It's going to be interesting when A-Train wakes up and to see where he stands, you know, because like I said at the start, like, could this be the start of, of his character arc of, of, of him doing the right thing for a change? Um, or is shit just going to hit the fan as soon as he wakes up? I don't know. Um, but okay, I'm going to get into episode two right now because I'm really, really pumped to see where this is going to go. We're going to just start hammering through content if you're interested in watching episode two and episode three they should be up on my patreon early access right now the full length the way i'm going to try and do it is as soon as i edit i'm just going to post so there's not going to be like a real uh, schedule for full length i'm just going to just as soon as it's edited and all set up it's going to get posted onto my patreon i'm not going to wait around or, or put the full length up every time i get the edited reaction done I'm just going to throw them up onto my Patreon. So if you want to know how far I am into filming slash editing, check out my Patreon. There'll be links down below. But yeah, for now, give this video a thumb up if you like it. 
Comment down below. Let me know what you think. And subscribe if you haven't already, man. All right? I've been Sifurian. And I'll catch you in the next one, man.